here for example we have the fingerprint dirter board this is the fingerprint connector so to troubleshoot any connector if it is good or not if the power is present in this connector or not it's easy the working principle is the same if you have the, the schematic you can troubleshoot and fix any motherboards or any electronic device as you can see for this connector for example we have here four pins so this is the ground as you can see if you use the multimeter you will put the black probe here and in pin number one you should look for three volts as you can see we have plus three volts so the three volt should be present here if the three is missing this connector will not work okay and of course we have two signals this is a data signals that is as you see here we have d plus and d minus so always the problem you cannot find the problem with this two you can find always the problem is with the power if the power is missing you will find a problem with a thing finger brand or any other connector okay so always you should check the power as you can see so let's check also this connector as you can see this is the touch pad as you see this is for the touch pad connector with four pins what we have here or six pin we have here the ground as you can see in pin number four we have the power or the voltage the main power for this connector in pin number one always or usually you'll find the power in pin number one as you can see the power is what is plus five volt so using the multimeter if you have problem with touch pad you should first check the connector and check if you have here five of five volt or not just put the black probe here and the red probe here and check plus 5 volt and for these two signals always you will find the signals the data signals in here in the middle here we have as you see for data and for the clock so this signals goes to page 37 where we have the ICH okay so I want to add that we have other kind of resistance as you see this is a normal resistance this alone this is a normal resistance this is a normal resistance but these four resistance together is a network resistance the same working principle if you want to check this you can just use the multimeter by selecting the ohm option and you can check this resistance okay so this is a network this kind of resistance is network resistor okay so as you see this is another kind of connector this is external mic jack the same working principle if you want to check if you have problem with this maybe the problem can be in the mechanism inside it or just you should check the power always between ground and pin number here the pin number one is connected to the ground so here the power as you see is in pin number two as you can see we have here coil coil and here we have the audio vases okay also here this is for earphone jack as you can see so one here is connected to the ground as you can see we have here a ground means analog ground and here two connected to this coil also here we have three coins to this coil okay so for this connector okay this is for internal speaker for every laptop you will find two speakers two internal speakers one in the left and one in the right as you can see so this is the connector for the, the both speakers as you can see so in pin number one and pin number two we have as you see speaker out okay this is for left speaker also for this three and four connected to the right speaker speaker out okay as you can see so if you have problem with speakers you can just check these two capacitors if you find it short to the ground you should replace it and for this also check these two capacitors and check the connector 